my predictions for the Ahsoka series. This is based on what we know so far, reliable rumours, and I may have a couple of inside sources. So let's start with a recap. As we know, when we see Ahsoka in Season 2 of The Mandalorian, she's looking for Grand Admiral Thrawn. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? The last time we see Ahsoka before this is at the end of Star Wars Rebels when her and Sabine team up to bring Ezra home. Ezra's out there somewhere, and it's time to bring him home. Sabine has also been announced to be appearing in the Ahsoka series played by Natasha Deal. And at D23 last year, they even showed us a live action version of Sabine looking at the Ghost Crew Memorial. And in the most recent episode of The Mandalorian, we've seen live action there. That's almost been a year since Star Wars Celebration 2022, where they showed the Ahsoka trailer at a panel. However, in that trailer, we do see a glimpse of Hera. And on the stage, they showed us Chopper. A lot of rumours also suggest that Mary Elizabeth Winstead will be playing the live-action Hera in the Ahsoka series. So the Ahsoka series is basically kind of panning out to be a live-action Star Wars Rebels Season 5. Searching for Ezra and possibly setting up Thrawn as the next big bad. Same as the Star Wars Legends post-original trilogy books and comic books which had Thrawn as the big bad before Disney decanonized them and made them. Legends. On September 9th, 2022, Emma Asfandi was announced to be playing the live-action Ezra Bridger in the Ahsoka series. Most TV shows usually film chronologically, starting with episode 1. Some shows are even still filming the later episodes of that season, whilst the first few episodes are being aired. But it's not always the case with reshoots and such. The Ahsoka series started production in May 2022 and wrapped filming in October of 2022. It seems the main plot is going to be Ahsoka looking for Grand Admiral Thrawn, maybe looking for Ezra, and assembling most of the Ghost crew from Rebels. We know that Ezra's been missing since he took Thrawn away with the Pergil in 1 BBY. Mandalorian Season 1 is set about 9 ABY, so about 10 years later. And Ahsoka is likely set around this same type of Mandalorian Boba Fett timeline. So it's been a solid 10 years since Ezra Bridger has been missing at the age of 19. So he will now be about 29. At the time of Eman Asfandi being announced as Ezra Bridger, he was posting stuff like this on social media. Stories like this on the 12th of September with longer hair and a full beard. Then by October 17th, he'd had a full shave and much shorter hair. Ahsoka wrapped filming on October 14th. But Eman wasn't on his stories kind of featuring himself that much. In the end of September to the start of October. So when exactly did he lose the beard and get the haircut? Now I'm thinking we have two options here. Now whilst the Ahsoka show is going to be focused on Ahsoka, as mentioned by her appearance in The Mandalorian, where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? She's looking for Thrawn and Ezra who disappeared 10 years ago together. Has Thrawn resurfaced? Is Ezra still missing? With Sabine, Hera and Chopper being in the Ahsoka series, it looks like the main plot is going to be finding Ezra. So I don't think we're even going to see Ezra until the last episode, or maybe even just a cliffhanger of the last scene of the last episode where they find him. But judging by the actor Eman Asfandi's kind of look, off screen during this time. Having the full beard and a bit longer hair, I reckon they're gonna find him sporting a kind of scavenger look with longer hair and a ponytail reminiscent of his mentor, Kanan Jarrus. With his full beard showing that he's aged a lot and been lost for such a long time, sporting a kind of scavenger look, not on a like Poe Dameron and or, or Han Solo. Something like this is what I'm betting we're gonna see Ezra as. Then that'll either be it, that'll be all we see of him, being that last scene or last episode. I think we're gonna have flashbacks, the kind of series three, series four look, something like this. And that might just be used for flashbacks. But maybe we won't see him just at that last scene of the last episode in that scavenger look. Maybe they'll find him a little bit earlier on. And we'll do that kind of Captain America and Endgame thing where he shaves off the beard and then dons more classic suit. Or Roman's just wearing this for flashbacks but I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this suit in some form, whether that's flashbacks to Ezra's goodbye message, or shaving, freshening up, scavenging look out the window, donning this, and then being like, boom, end credits, ready for a live action, the head to the Empire, new Star Wars film, being Mando, Boba Fett, Fennec Shan, bo Ezra, Ahsoka, old Captain Rex, Sabine, Hera, Chopper, Zeb, CGI Luke Skywalker, old Eric Aaron right back as Solo, maybe even a can of Myra Jade and Carl Katarn. Ben Solo is basically Jason Solo, and in it they kind of involved it that when he went rogue and became Kylo Ren, he killed Mara Jaden. That's off track. Either way, with the Pergo appearing in the first episode of the Mandalorian series 3, and Zeb appearing in the most recent episode, I think we're going to have some more hints in the last few episodes of this season of the Mandalorian that lead into the Ahsoka plot. Ahsoka was originally set for release in spring of this year. But Rosario Dawson said in February that actually it's going to be in the fall or autumn if you're not American. Also worth noting that Dave Filoni actually said that it's possible the epilogue we see at the end of Star Wars Rebels where Ahsoka and Sabine team up to go and find Ezra and bring him home might actually be after we see her in The Mandalorian Season 2. So the timeline is kind of crazy here. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any ideas, predictions, rumours, theories? Let me know in the comments.